Interesting. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have finally announced they're having a baby, but when their future son or daughter is born this upcoming spring, they allegedly won't have custody of them. According to royal expert Marlene Koenig, Queen Elizabeth will have custody of Meghan and Harry's children future children. The sovereign has legal custody of the minor grandchildren, she once told News.com. This goes back to King George I, and the law's never been changed. He did it because he had a very poor relationship with his son, the future King George II, so they had this law passed that meant the king was the guardian of his grandchildren. Don't fret, though. Koenig said that the royal family doesn't make a big deal about this notion. In fact, Joe Little, the managing editor of Majesty, also shared, this isn't an act of parliament, but a royal prerogative established in the early 18th century, so it is not legally binding. He added, the circumstances would have to be pretty extreme for the Queen to invoke it on behalf of her great-grandchildren. Phew. Meghan and Harry announced via Kensington Palace on Monday, October 15 that they're expecting their first child together. Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. Their Royal Highnesses have appreciated all of the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share this happy news with the public, the message read. In that past, the two have been very vocal about wanting children, and apparently being an aunt and uncle to Kate Middleton and Prince William's kids made want their own even more, we assume Elizabeth has custody of Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, too. Meghan can't wait to have kids herself and jokes that being a hands-on aunt is great practice for when she and Harry have their own brood, a source recently told Life and Style before Meghan and Harry's big news. Meghan and Harry talk about having babies all the time and think it'll be so much fun for all of the kids to hang out together. We can't wait for the first pick of their bundle of joy with their cousins. Meghan Markle's sister sent a scornful message via Twitter to Prince Harry as he celebrated his 34th birthday on Saturday, in the latest impassioned outburst from the Duchess's estranged family. Samantha Grant, who calls herself Samantha Markle, implored the Duke of Sussex to think about the birthday wishes he never extended to his father-in-law. Mys Grant has not seen her 37-year-old half-sister Meghan in years and has been estranged by the Duchess. Tweeting, Mys Grant said, Happy birthday Harry. As you mack down on your birthday cake, think about the birthday wishes you never extended to your father-in-law. The uncouth post was accompanied by a gif of a hamster cramming cake into its mouth. Mys Grant also lambasted the Duchess of Sussex on Monday saying she should be humane to her father. A separate birthday greeting to Prince Harry from Mys Grant appeared in the Daily Star. The message urged Prince Harry to make his mother proud by burying a hatchet with his father-in-law, Thomas Markle, to end the transatlantic family feud. Mys Grant also said Harry needed to grow up and be a role model to William and Kate's children by making up with Mr. Markle. The alienated sister said, Harry, how old do you have to get before you realize it's time to bury the hatchet and be a gentleman and extend an olive branch to our dad? A birthday is a time to reflect on life and what is really important. Seize the moment to do the right thing. Not to mention the fact that William and Kate's children will soon be reading about all of this. They will see every action and reaction. You'd be amazed what kids come across in cyberspace. Thomas Markle did not attend the royal wedding because of complications with his health. The Duchess of Sussex's father had staged photos with the paparazzi before he experienced cardiovascular problems. Meghan Markle's father Thomas has received violent death threats from a close female friend's ex-boyfriend who terrorized the female, forcing them to move to a safe house after the abuse escalated. Meghan Markle's father received death threats from the former boyfriend of one of his closest female friends. The suspect allegedly drove past Mr. Markle's house in Rosarito Beach, 
Mexico, and shouted, I'm going to kill you, you fat f asterisk asterisk. The suspect is reported to have also slashed Mr. Markle's ters. However, he denies the claims. Thomas Markle told the mail on Sunday, the first time he threatened me was after I took opening bracket my friend and her daughter closing bracket for pizza and we were photographed by the paparazzi. He texted me saying, I will kick you, you fat f asterisk asterisk. I wrote back saying, you don't even know me, what's wrong with you? Why would you feel threatened by a 74-year-old man? He thought something sexual was going on between opening bracket her closing bracket and me but it's not. Opening bracket she closing bracket isn't my girlfriend. She hasn't hustled me for money. I've helped her financially so that she could get to a safe place to live with her daughter. The threats come as Thomas Markle continues to adapt to life in the public eye following his daughter's marriage to Prince Harry. The ex-boyfriend has reportedly carried out a campaign of terror against Mr. Markle's friend and her daughter. The incidents have been reported to the police as part of an eight-page document. The report reads, he grabbed me by the neck while twisting it, as if he was choking me and I have pictures of these aggressions. He spat on my face. He goes to my uncle's house, referring to Thomas Markle, and tells him that he is going to kill him because he is constantly hiding me and threatens and insults him. In an interview with the Mail on Sunday, the victim said, Tom has been nothing but a supportive friend. He's been a rock for me and my daughter and I'm sorry he's been dragged into this violent and abusive situation. My daughter calls Tom uncle. He's the most genuine and kind person I know and the most stable male figure my daughter has ever known. My ex-boyfriend is demanded. He has threatened to kill me and my daughter multiple times and has made multiple threats to Tom's life. Royalist Richard Fitzwilliams believes Meghan Markle will not reach out to Samantha while she is visiting the UK despite her issuing an emotional public apology live on television. Meghan Markle will not meet with Samantha during her half-sister's stay in the UK, a royal expert has predicted. Speaking exclusively to Express.co.uk, the insider declared, there's absolutely no possibility of Samantha Markle meeting Meghan. Mr. Fitzwilliams also said that Samantha's public apology on The Jeremy Vine Show was not genuine. He said, I think her so-called apology was part and parcel of a load of nonsense. Quite frankly she has been a bitter and vicious critic of Meghan. Her comments about the marriage and her comments about Thomas Markle and Meghan, all of this has been deliberately designed to cause trouble. She should simply shut up. Meghan Markle's half-sister has sensationally apologized to the Duchess of Sussex while speaking live on The Jeremy Vine Show. Samantha Markle said, I'm hoping that we can have a happy ending. Meghan's half-sister defended her outbursts against the Duchess, claiming she was lashing out at the media and was given to speaking publicly after being unable to contact the royal privately. She said, We were hoping that private channels could be used. When they failed we went public. The public were making a mockery of my family and it had to stop. Perhaps I was frustrated. I was lashing out more at the media. Meghan did not send a birthday card to her father Thomas Markle in July, leading to her half-sister Samantha tweeting in August, Happy birthday Meg! It would be so lovely and appropriate of you to send Dad a belated birthday card for his July 18th. At Kensington Royal Cheers! Speculating on whether Meghan will seek to resolve issues with her father, royal expert Richard Fitzwilliam said, It's very unfortunate that there's obviously a rift between Meghan and her father but this has been going on for probably some time. Whilst there is trouble, expect the situation to continue. Obviously we hope that in the future time, and this will be done in the quiet, it won't be done in the eye of the media, the two will be reconciled. But this will be something again that won't be a photo opportunity. He added, it's been very difficult for Meghan, her father is retired, he is reclusive, he is in ill health and he has been very ill-advised.
one of his advisors has been Samantha, and she has been pure poison.